And now if we have Östersundse. They wanted a big name and they got one. Arsenal FC. The smallest club in the competition Arsenal. against one of the biggest. <laughs> no one expected Östersunds to get this far, but this club has developed a unique footballing philosophy, combining a passing game on the pitch and annual theatrical productions off it. It's built confidence and strengthened the bond between club and community. We're proud of what we've done. We're proud to have been able to create an environment and a team and a club that people are proud of. I think that's, uh, that's the most special thing, actually, with what we've, what we've achieved on this journey. 50,000 people live in Ostersunds. You could fit every single one of them in Arsenal Stadium back in London. And despite freezing temperatures, it's going to be about minus six today, hundreds are expected here in the town square to watch the game on that screen. No one wants to miss out on tonight's historic tie. There's brisk business at the club shop too, and confidence their team can win. They win. What's win. the score? 2-1, uh, I think. And then in London next week? Yeah, they win. They win again? 3-1. <laughs> Good. Tomorrow we win. <laughs> Great. Thank yes. you very much. I already predicted 3-1 to us, so I do that today too. Let's see. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> At the 9,000-seat Yamcraft Arena, space is short. It's a far cry from Arsenal's lavish home. The pitch itself is plastic, and at the Arsenal end, they're still shoveling snow. Ostersund's official Twitter feed promises a frosty welcome, with igloos as changing rooms. And from Arsenal's manager, who's been in the job longer than Ostersund's has even existed, there is cautious respect. I watched uh, them uh, play uh, on tape, and uh, they play uh, very well. They play a very uh, attractive game. This match is classic David and Goliath, one of Europe's elite, coming to a place most of their fans have never heard of. The smart money is on Arsenal, but Ostersunds beat the mighty Galatasaray and Hertha Berlin here. They have developed an appetite for taking big scalps. Simon McGregorwood, TRT World, in Ostersunds, northern Sweden.